tribes of the nation of Israel. You are God's chosen people according to the Bible. The Heavenly Father established a covenant with your forefathers that you would keep God's laws in righteousness. So read what you got according to the scriptures. Genesis 32. Cap, what did you want him to pull? Okay, read that. Genesis chapter 32. I want somebody to get 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1. The Bible is a book that was written for your salvation. The Bible is a book that was written for the Israelites to be able to repent. Okay? How, do you both go to the Christian church? Okay. Do you believe in God? Okay. You got it? Read. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said... Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So that's what he called, that's what he told Jacob. He said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Really? But Israel, for as a prince, hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. So Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And Jacob is the father of the twelve tribes of Israel. Listen to this, give me Deuteronomy chapter 76. That's one of the biggest mysteries right now. If you go anywhere on the planet Earth, the black man is having an identity crisis. We don't know who we are, we don't know where we descend from. But we are gonna show you who we are today. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter and the sixth verse. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. That's what he said about the Israelites. He said, Thou art holy people to the Lord thy God. But is our people living holy? Is our people living according to the laws of God? No. Yeah. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the most high chose the Israelites, which is your so-called Negroes, to be a special people to him above, above all the people that is upon the face of the earth. Yes, really. That's right. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people. So he didn't set his love upon us because we were more in number than any people, were really? For ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you. But because the Lord loved you. The Lord loved you so-called blacks. You so-called Negroes versus of uh, uh, the transatlantic slave trade. Because we went into captivity we was made captive in all laws for breaking the last statutes and commandments of the Most High. Give me another put on the third, verse 27. Listen to this. Did you know that our slavery would be prophesied in the Bible? Did you know that? Slavery was actually prophesied in the Bible. The Bible is our history book. Really? Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. You listen, hear that, you hear that sister? They said the Lord shall scatter you. You hear that brother? Said the Lord shall scatter you among what we? Among the nations. They said the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. Who have been, what nation of people you know that have been scattered among nations? What, what nations of people, what, type, what people you know that were scattered among nations? The so-called blacks. Yeah. And ye shall be left few in number. It says you shall be left few in number. Really? Among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. So it says we're going to be left few in number among the heathen where the Lord shall scatter us. I'm going to give you another. Give me Deuteronomy 32. Listen to this. What we're showing you, we're showing you that slavery is in the Bible. A lot of our people say they want to get the kingdom of heaven, but they don't know what to do to the kingdom of heaven. Get the, to get the kingdom of heaven. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. I said, I will scatter them into corners. He said, I will scatter them into corners. What nation of people that were scattered to the four corners of the earth? We know. 
I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. He said, I'm going to make the remembrance of them to cease upon men. The remembrance of what? Who you are, your nationality. We the only people who think we African. We think we uh, Kemetic. We think we the, uh, the Asiatic black man. We think we Moors. We have everything that God wants us to be a prince that has power with God. Listen to this thing from the top again, read. And I said, I will scatter them into corners. He said, I will scatter them into corners, the Israelites, read. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Give me that in Jeremiah 17 and 4. I'm going to make the remembrance of you being the Israelites to cease from among men. Do, do the nations call you Israelites? Do they call you Israel? No, they don't call you Israel. But they call, they call you Negro. They call you African. But they do not call you Israel. Israel means a prince that has power with God. You see the power in that? You see this, mate. And thou, even, call him in chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, you know what say? And thou, even thyself, we shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. He said, We're going to discontinue from the heritage that he gave us. The Most High God gave us a heritage. Read it out. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. He said, I'm going to cause you to serve your enemies in a land that you know us not. Because is our people originally from this land? No. We are originally from Israel. The Holy Land is ours in the Most High. Give me that in Galatians 4 and 26. You got it? The Holy Land is ours. That's where we are originally from. But since we broke the commandments of God, we went to be scattered to the four corners of earth. On Cairo slave ship. Listen to this. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Read. This is the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. It said, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem is above all nations, according to God. Read. Which is the mother of us all. That's the beginning of creation in Jerusalem. The mother of us all. You got all uh, our people walking around thinking that Africa is the motherland. You're not African. Africa was named after uh, a Roman general named Scipio Africanus. Just like America was named after an Italian uh, conquistador. Uh, what's that? Con no, the Italian map maker named America Vespucci. And then we was called these names. You know what I'm saying? We was called African American. The different countries you go, our people call by those names, like Jamaica. How many of y'all out here uh, come from Jamaica? You come from Jamaica. So according to the Bible, you from the tribe of Benjamin. You Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Because what does the word Jamaica mean? Land of water. So you, and you are not a land of water, water, but you are a prince that has power with God. Right. An Israelite, according to the Bible. Now look, give me that and do that number 28. Chapter 1. So that's our homeland right there, Jerusalem. And we was, and we was uh, scattered to the four corners of the earth because we broke the commandments of God. And our people continue to break the commandment. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. The Lord said, no buying, no selling, no working, no cooking. He said, prepare all you're going to prepare the day before. And see that you see it to the next day. But you see our people in the midst of all men of iniquity. And then we wonder why we are oppressed in the land of our captivity. Listen to this, hey. This is the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the first verse. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You hear that? It shall come to pass. This Moses talked to the Israelites. He said, it's going to come to pass if you hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. Really? To observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now let me ask yourself, are we set on high above all nations on earth? So that means the blessings that come upon us. Moses told us if we keep God's commandments, we were going to be blessed and we were going to be set above our nations on the earth. Read up. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Have our people been overtaking the blessings? Bruh, have our people been overtaking the blessings? Are we overtaking, are we overtaking the blessings? 
Are we going to take him a blessing, sister? No. Give it up. And all of these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if, 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 it's a stimulation, if, read, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. But we, if we hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Now jump down to verse 12, 13, read. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses so he said if we don't do his commandments all these curses we shall come upon thee and overtake thee what's another word for curse what's another word for curses evils he said all these evils gonna come upon us and overtake us I'm asking you something how did the black man go uh, get into America? How did the black man get into Jamaica? How did we get into Britain? What means of transportation? What you say? Say it again. Okay, give me that number 268. So God said, we don't keep these commandments. All these curses, all these evils going to come upon us and overtake us. Listen to this, wait. This is the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 68th verse. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is a Greek word for bondage. You can look it up. Museum is means bondage. Now gonna bring us into bondage again, read. Right? With ships. With ships. How many of y'all knew that was prophesied in the Bible? For breaking God's commandments, he said you're gonna go into bondage with ships. Read up. The Lord shall bring me into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. See what? No more again. You seen the iron man since you've been here? You seen the motherland? You seen the motherland? You seen Jerusalem since you've been here? No. He said, Thou shalt see it no more again. Huh? You see Jerusalem. Okay, I'll pray to the most high. What's up? Come on closer. I can't hear you. Okay. Jacob Russell with the angel and um, God said, Name him on Israel. Yeah. From this this day, thy name will be called Israel. I mean, I want to know if is Israel standing right there today, or could we go to a place that they're actually calling Israel? The land Israel. Uh, yeah, we are the Israelites. Yeah. Remember, Israel was a person first and foremost before it was called the land. You know what I'm saying? It was a person. So you understand that? Yeah. So we don't have to go to a place called Israel. Well, we're going to go back. Give me that in uh, Isaiah 14 and 1 real quick. We're going to go back to our homeland. Listen to this. We're going back to our homeland. So let's go back. Before Israel was a place, it was a person. And we are the children of Israel. So yes, you are Israelite from, uh, where, you, uh, where you come from? Where you from? Guyana. Guyana? Guyana. Guyana. Okay, so uh, you could be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Listen to this word. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. You see that? We're going to be set back in our own land. So we're going back to Israel. That's our land. The Most High, the Most High took out a land and gave it to ourselves. Remember, give me that in Leviticus 20, verse 24. What you been to say? Um, also, the scripture said, uh, "For we shall no more go to Jerusalem to worship the Father. For should we should worship Him in spirit and in truth, and in the spirit of the Father that dwells in you and I." Okay, you know why? They, you know why he said that? Give me Luke twenty-one. Luke twenty-one. And let's get the scripture that he quote. Give me John four, John four verse twenty-two. I'm gonna show you why he said that. I'm gonna get the scripture that you quote. That's what we're doing right here, right now. We're worshiping the Most High God, the Spirit of Truth. How are we doing that through keeping His commandments? Listen to this, read. The book of John, chapter 4, verse 20. Start at 21. Verse 21. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. He said, Look, the hour coming when you shall neither in this mountain. Uh, they say you should meet in this now, not yet in Jerusalem, because uh, they thought they had to make uh, Mount uh, Jabal and what was the other one called? Uh, Jezreel. Read on. 
ye worship you know not what. We know what we worship. The salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Because see what is going on, listen to me. The reason why he said that, because he said, look, the hour coming. The hour coming. He will let you know, look, this temple going to be destroyed. The sacrifice is going to be done away with. You ain't going to be able to make these sacrifices no more. That's why Christ came to die for our sin. Listen to this, Luke 21. Luke chapter 21, verse 19. In your patience, possess ye your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem, he said, you mean you shall see Jerusalem, we compassed with army, compassed with army, we then know that the desolation thereof is not. Know that you ain't gonna be able to worship the Father in Jerusalem. He gonna see such a worship him in spirit and truth, cause Jerusalem about to be destroyed. This quite warning us of the destruction, prophesying of the destruction of 70 AD by Romans generals Vespasian and Titus. We know. Then let them which are in Judea, he said, let them which are in Judea do what? Flee to the mountains. That's when we fled into uh, 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 the mountains of Africa. Uh, uh, and, and, and migrated around to the west coast of Africa. We know. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. For these and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance. That's why he told me all that. These were the days of vengeance. That's why he said, look, if you come and eat in this now, not Jerusalem, shall you worship the fire. Because the days of vengeance was coming. They were the uh, Roman armies was coming to destroy Jerusalem with a great slaughter. Really. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. Because remember, the prophecies got to be fulfilled. Do it on the 286 day. Did he not go into captivity on ships? It had to be fulfilled. Read on. Thank you, that all these things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. Now look, I'm about to get to this verse right here, verse 24. You see what he said, we? Really? This is why we weren't going to be able to work. This is why we can't worship in Jerusalem now, we? Really? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. You see that? Jerusalem is going to be destroyed, and the real Israelites is going to be led away captive in all nations. We're looking at it right now. We come from the United States. And everywhere we go, Everywhere we go all over the world, we see our people. And we see them small among the nations. We know. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So who in Jerusalem now? Who in Jerusalem now, according to the Bible? Uh, Say it. Sorry? No, listen, leave it And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentile. You hear that? Jerusalem shall be trodden down of who? By the Gentiles. The Gentiles. So the true Israelites ain't in the land. Those people that claim to be Jews in the land of Israel, they are not the true Jews. You're looking at the true Jews right now because Jerusalem was destroyed and that was led captive to all nations. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.